balance the following chemical equations first question hno3 nitric acid plus calcium hydroxide when nitric acid react with the calcium hydroxide it gives calcium nitrate plus water now lhs part means reactant part nitric acid and calcium hydroxides are called reactants and calcium nitrate and water are called products after arrow we are writing products and this head indicates that this head this arrow head indicates that product formed now we can write the element present in lhs side means reactant sides and rhs side means product sides so reactant sides means lhs part left and side and product side means right and side reactant side hydrogen nitrogen oxygen calcium oxygen hydrogen are present so all the reactant side elements suppose hydrogen one hydrogen here and here also hydrogen we need to count all together and we can write now you write lhs side hydrogen atom and next oxygen atom and next nitrogen atom and calcium means when reactants are reacting together and it gives the product then whatever the elements are there in lhs side the same elements we can write in rhs side first one is hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and calcium so now you count number of hydrogen atoms in reactant side so here one hydrogen and here you can observe that they mentioned the bracket two oxygen and hydrogen oh is a radical we are calling oh only oh means hydroxyl when it is combined with any element then it become negative species means anion we are calling hydroxide now they are keeping a bracket that indicates that these two we need to multiply within the bracket of the elements means 2 into o 2 o 2 oxygen 2 into h 2 hydrogen now here one hydrogen atom and here 2 into h 2 hydrogen atom here one here two total lhs side three hydrogen atoms and next oxygen atom here oxygen three so here they are not mentioned any bracket that indicates that this three is only belonging to the oxygen atom we should not multiply to the nitrogen and hydrogen why because here they are not keeping any bracket whereas in the case of calcium hydroxide they are mentioned the bracket that indicates that these two we need to multiply the atoms present in the bracket now here three oxygen three oxygen and here two into one two two oxygen so three plus two total five oxygen atom here three oxygen and here two into two oxygen total five oxygen atom similarly how many nitrogen atoms in left side here one nitrogen and here no nitrogen reactant side the nitrogen is one and the remaining is calcium so here calcium not there here only one calcium and don't think these two need to multiply the calcium you should not multiply because these two belonging to only for this oh group now calcium how many atoms are there here nothing will be there means one so one calcium now in product side hydrogen atoms 
how many hydrogens here two hydrogen atom right two and oxygen atoms here one oxygen and here nitrate group NO3 they are keeping the bracket multiply this two to this now two here three oxygen already three oxygen two three is a six oxygen two three is a six oxygen so here two three is a six oxygen and here one oxygen total six plus one seven oxygen atoms and nitrogen atoms so here the nitrogen atom is present within bracket then this two we need to multiply to the nitrogen atom so two into n here nothing will be there means only one then two into n two n total number of nitrogens are two and next is remaining calcium here they mentioned bracket nitrate group don't multiply this two to the calcium atom this two is belonging only for nitrate group now calcium atom how many calciums are there only one calcium atom then mention here now you can take a comparison left side three hydrogen right side two hydrogen it shows that it is not balanced balance is nothing but lhs part must be equal to rhs part oxygen five are there here oxygen seven are there RH side here nitrogen 1 here nitrogen 2 calcium 1 calcium 1 so here calcium element is balanced remaining all other elements are not balanced correct now what we should do just raise the number suppose if you are raising number 2 for hydrogen 2 means here whatever the balancing number we need to mention here when you are mentioning 2 here then 2H 2N and how many oxygen 2 to the 6 oxygen atoms so we can put number 2 here when you are mentioning 2 here 2 here then multiply 2 into H 2H correct 2 into H 2H 2 hydrogen and here already 2 hydrogen so here 2 into H 2 hydrogen and here 2 into H 2 hydrogen 2 plus 2 how many hydrogen atoms 4 hydrogen atoms then for our to avoid to our confusion we can strike out this one means here when you are keeping 2 number here coefficient 2 into H 2 hydrogen and here 2 into H 2 hydrogen so here 2 hydrogen here 2 hydrogen total 4 hydrogen next 2 into n 2 into n here nothing will be there down means 1 so 1 into 2 2 n means nitrogen atoms how many are the left side now 2 nitrogen to avoid confusion strike out this number next oxygen atom 3 into 2 3 oxygen is there 3 into 2 6 oxygen and here 2 into 2, two oxygen 6 oxygen plus 2 oxygen total number of oxygen now 6 plus 2 8 strike out this one and calcium is unchanged let it be there now you again cross check so here 4 hydrogen atoms here 2 hydrogen here 8 oxygen here 7 oxygen here 2 nitrogen and right side 2 nitrogen 1 calcium right side 1 calcium now oxygen and hydrogen need to balance which side less right side is less then we need to increase the number right side Always you have to start from the number begin with the 2. Where is hydrogen present? Hydrogen present here. Then put here 2. We can cross check. 
when you are writing two here then multiply this two to all the elements in this molecule now two to the four hydrogen how many now here two to the four hydrogen here nothing will be the hydrogen not there only calcium nitrate so just we can take two to the four hydrogen this two to strike out why need to avoid the confusion then now 2 into o, 2 oxygen and here one more oxygen is present how many oxygen are there here within the bracket total 3 oxygen correct total 3 oxygen 2 3 is a 6 and here 2 o means 6 oxygen plus here 2 oxygen total 8 oxygen so now we can cross check left side 4 hydrogen right side 4 hydrogen yes balanced left side 8 oxygen right side 8 oxygen yes this also balanced and left side 2 hydrogen right side 2 hydrogen yes this also balanced and left side 1 calcium right side 1 calcium so it shows that LHS equal to LHS equal to RHS all the elements in LHS are equal to the elements of RHS means this is a balanced chemical equation this is balanced chemical equations so this is a way we need to balance all the chemical equations modligen a vein madbe kontondre reaction kottirtare now reactions kottidaga reactants matte products yav yav element ide nodkobeku reactant side alli hydrogen ide nitrogen ide oxygen ide calcium ide matte hydrogen oxygen ide ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅದೇ ನಮಗೆ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ LHS ಸೈಡ್ ಬರ್ಕೊಂತೀವಿ RHS ಅಂತ ಬರ್ಕೊಂತೀವಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಸಿಯಂ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬರ್ಕೊಂತೀವಿ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಸಿಯಂ ಇದು ಏನು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಅದೇ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತೀರಾ ಅದನ್ನೇ ನೀವು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಗೆ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಗೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಸಿಯಂ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಸಿಯಂ ಫೈನಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಮೊದಲು ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಈ ನಂಬರ್ ಏನು ಹಾಕಿರಲ್ವಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿದ್ರಲ್ವ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೊದಲು ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾವ ಕಡೆ ನಂಬರ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದೆ ಯಾವ ಕಡೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಮೊದಲಿಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಇತ್ತು ಆಗ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಾವು ನಂಬರ್ನ ರೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಆಗ ನೀವು ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಟೂ ಟು ಜ ಫೋರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಹೇಟ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋ ನಂಬರ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಫೈನಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಏಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಟೂ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ನ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನೂ ಉಳಿದಂಥ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಮುಂದಿನ ಕ್ಲಾಸಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡೋಣ